I declare open the public hearing for the delivery of a judgment of the Great Grand Chamber of the European Court of Human Rights in the case of Perinček against Switzerland pursuant to Article 44 of the Convention and Rule 77, Paragraph 2 of the Rules of Court. The agent of the Swiss government respondent and the representative of the applicant as well as the agents of the Turkish and Armenian government's third-party interveners have been duly informed of the date and time of the hearing. The application was lodged with the court on the 10th of June 2008 under Article 34 of the Convention. It was assigned to the second section of the court. A chamber of seven judges was constituted within that section. In the proceedings before the chamber, the Turkish government exercised their right under Article 36, Paragraph 1 of the Convention to intervene as a third party. On the 12th of November 2013, the chamber declared the application partly admissible and partly inadmissible, found that there had been a violation of Article 10 of the Convention and held that it was not necessary to examine separately the admissibility or merits of the applicant's complaint under Article 7 of the Convention. The Chamber's judgment was delivered on the 17th of December 2013. The Swiss Government then requested under Article 43, Paragraph 1 of the Convention that the case be referred to the Grand Chamber. On the 2nd of June 2014, the panel of the Grand Chamber accepted this request. In the proceedings before the Grand Chamber, the Turkish government again exercised their right under Article 36, Paragraph 1 of the Convention to intervene as a third party. In addition, the Armenian and French governments, as well as a number of non-governmental organizations and other persons applied for and were granted leave under Article 36, Paragraph 2 of the Convention and Rule 44, Paragraph 3a of the Rules of Court, to intervene as third parties. The Grand Chamber held a public hearing on the 28th of January 2015 and adopted its judgment on the 9th of July 2015. I shall now give a brief summary of the facts and read out the operative provisions of this judgment. This summary of facts is not part of the judgment that will not bind the court. For a more detailed account of the facts of the case and a summary of the court's reasoning, I would refer you to the press release, which will be available at the end of this hearing. The full text of the judgment will also be available on the court's internet site. The case essentially concerns the applicant's criminal conviction in Switzerland in relation to three public statements that he made in that country in 2005, in which he expressed the view that the massacres and mass deportation suffered by the Armenians in the Ottoman Empire in 1915 and the following years had not constituted a genocide. In the ensuing criminal proceedings against the applicant, the Swiss courts held that by making these statements he had committed the offence set out in paragraph 4 of article 261 of the Swiss Criminal Code. I shall now read the operative provisions of the judgment. The court first joins by 14 votes to 3 the question whether article 17 of the convention is to be applied to the merits of the complaint under article 10 of the convention. Second holds by 10 votes to 7 that there has been a violation of Article 10 of the Convention. 3. Holds by 13 votes to 4 that there are no grounds to apply Article 17 of the Convention. 4. Holds by 16 votes to 1 that there is no need to examine separately the admissibility or merits of the complaint under Article 7 of the Convention. 5 holds by 12 votes to 5 that the finding of a violation of Article 10 of the Convention constitutes in itself sufficient just satisfaction for any non-pecuniary damage suffered by the applicant. 6. Dim dismisses unanimously the remainder of the applicant's claim for just satisfaction. This concludes the hearing and I accordingly declare it closed.